Any dancers break? Any dancers? I don't know if it's you. I mean, the new soul uh, catcher. It's never, it's never, it's never bit, useless, yeah. but I mean, there is a lot of ways to do with it though, like Timber Sword. Korea. Delora, the only one in the vicinity. And yeah, so they're gonna go right to the ancients. It's gonna be seen by Shadow Fiend. Shadow Fiend, though, he's. I don't know if he was just AFK or what. <laughs> that seemed like a I'm looking somewhere else kind of deal. And he gets caught. Tinker a little bit, but that's just from the the ogre helper. Here comes the rope in from Earth Spirit, though, misses, unfortunately. And that should be enough for SF to, to get away scot free. Yeah, I was watching the bottom lane action, though, and they Ooh. do catch Lonejure. They put him under initially. He tries to cheap yeah, I most noticeably, for the hero that, uh, safe to say, really helped her. Make him a popular name and he's gonna really harass Ogre Magi here. Snaking also somewhat low. Trying to assist, but now out comes the Cask and Maledict to follow. Not even necessary, actually. Moo does enough damage to take him out by himself. Meanwhile, bottom lane, though, one. Oh, she didn't have the lockdown ready to go, so. It'll be fine. We got the bottom push. We'll see what they are able to make of it. Meanwhile, canceled in the lane. He's put under initially. Ogre Magi throws up the Ignite. He's gonna throw out the March, but Tinker. He's doing what he can to simply get away right here, which isn't much, unfortunately. Tinker doesn't work that way. He doesn't really have the greatest escape, so he goes down many. But of course, he's going to level it up eventually. But yeah. normally we see um, we see like two on two actually, but he's actually gone uh, three points in the in the coconut. But... Oh, mid lane. Middle lane, yeah. Cancels in trouble. This Weaver's being very active early on. Still there. Nice Pops see. time lapse as well. Just insists, but gonna miss the boulder smack. No shadow demon in the flank. Maybe it would have been better to turn his attention to the Shadow Demon rather than go for oh. the Shadow Fiend. It doesn't matter though, the Timber Chain in. And then the Shotgun to cut right through the Shadow Demon. So, it was like, I got this, don't worry. And he, uh... The regular kind of range build and start the build. But again, it's good against certain heroes. But in the meantime, top lane, Earth Spirit most likely is going to yep, yeah. drop very quickly. Yeah, but like, like I said, like, first of all, the Radiant's like nearly 2k HP, which is a, a lot more hard to deal with uh, with heroes like Weaver. So, yeah, I, I think, honestly, uh, I think this is kind of the build. And oh my god, DD and Weaver nearly just two shot the, uh, the Earth Spirit. He is still chasing, actually. Yeah, the bug's on him. Shikuchi in. I don't know he's if he's getting out of this. Yeah, there we go. Dead. A little damage too much. Middle lane? No, they're fine. They're just pushing it out. You're on the Sacred Reddit, about 1,200 away from it. So, it's going to get a, a, a timely. Bottom lane, as you well, see this, and not, not so not tightly not anymore. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> man, I keep saying, every time I say something, the guy just dies, so it feels bad, man. They, uh, still are gonna be okay, but yeah, no, the dying right there is slowing it down quite a bit, and now this bottom secondary tower, gonna be heavily pressured. Witch Doctor, actually, no Pit of Malice just yet, it's gonna be coming up right here. At the root, and that's a dead Witch Doctor as well, most likely, one more auto attack. Dark Rift activated, they're going all for it, they do get the kill. Now Dark Rift will send them back, and there you go. So they're going to be fine. The chase is on Shadow Fiend. I think, uh, well, maybe. Actually, Gensel doesn't have a haste. He's going to be wearing off right there. 747, though, has a TP. Do they have any stopper? They do at the last second. The Mulder Smash comes through, and now Shadow Fiend's like, all right, Wreck Me with Soul's time. That's not going to matter. They will pick him off. So good job by Complexity, at least chasing down the Shadow Fiend. Secure. Radiant's burn. Um, and obviously, it's quite decent, um, but... In this game, I don't think it's that strong. Um, Timber Sword doesn't really right click, neither does the Tinker. So, really, where, where is the mischance really going to be sort of taking effect? Um, nowhere, really, I don't think. Well, obviously, it's good against the, the Lone Droid Bear, but I mean, a position 3 hero to sort of, sort of that much committing onto an item, I don't think it's very good, to be honest. So, I, I have to disagree with the Radiance in this game. Yeah. Obviously, it, it's good. There's a lot of. Oh, it's all in the mid lane. Uh, what lane? Ogres yeah. gonna go down, but it, it, like it's good against sort of squishy heroes like Witch Doctor can take a lot of damage, but I don't think it's worth it. And SD, well, that disruption was definitely not worth it. That was well played by Deep Freak right there, lining up that Boulder Smash too. Mm. Top yeah. of the uh, Shadow Demon. Top lane actually, they're diving our Dark Pack out, Dark Rift, excuse me, out. And oh, we'll be fine. Middle lane cancel. He's gonna heal up a bit with those bottle charges. Weaver diving though and gets the kill, and then he time lapses out. He's safety once again. That death letter doing a work with that single target damage. Meanwhile, the BKB on his shadow. Oh, I thought the BKB went on his I thought he had it for some reason. He was glowing that gold, but no, he does not, and he easily goes down as a result. Got a TP on his time. Look at Moo go, man. He is just on fire. 17 charges on the bloodstone. He might get another kill out of this. No, not enough damage. Doesn't connect with the timber chain. Part the damage goes. He's going to be purged, though, by Shadow Demon. Slowing it down a little bit, but this yeah. one definitely is. Has that radiance. Gonna dive here somewhat, Moo. He's thinking about making a play on an Ogre. Nice stun through from Z Freak, and 
That should be a dead Ogre Magic as a result. The offensive earn. Chakram. There we go. Timber Chain. Oh my god, he's still alive, actually. He's put under by the, 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 the uh, Shadow Team that is. The disruption and finally get it in the end, but survive a little longer than expected, maybe. But they're pushing mid now. Should be a tower kill on top of that again. The bear with the extra damage definitely seeding those bases pretty effectively. As I know, Lord gets caught in the background by Timbersaw initially. Get the follow from Z Freak and down goes Snake King. So they're gonna go to the base, uh, following up the dragon. Line. Curious pickup there. I mean. I guess, you know, with uh, maybe with the, the bear on the front lines, but you have a timber saw that's dealing a lot of Again, damage. He doesn't really yeah, care Yeah, exactly. This. That's what I mean. It's saying similar to what, you know, the, the wet load again. Oh, yeah. Big fight coming out right here. Shocker going to be used. Dark Rift activated by Snake King, but they're kind of running away from Shadow Fiend, just simply getting on out of there himself. And the rest will... Powerful. I think you're right, though. Like, obviously, I mean, it's a great arm on, on SF anyway, because obviously he does a loads of damage, obviously, with the agility. Um, but he can't really take too much of, um, you know, the advantage of the, of the evasion that you get from it. There's no real right clicks. But one thing that is very important to, to note, though, is that... Um, oh, actually, top lane, Noga's going to go down. Most likely, he's going to get caught out of position. And SF now is struggling against Timbersaw. Oh, dear. Yeah, and you got Timbersaw now. He's obviously got that reactive armor. Tank down the plus on 19 charges. Put the Eel Scepter on his Shadow Fiend. Here comes a follow up. Shadow Fiend in the background is picked up. And down goes Shadow Fiend. Shadow Fiend does have a 5 8. They do take out Earth Spirit in the midst of it, but that is a 3 for 1 overall. Moose still wants more damage, oh more charges, God. and more kills. Snaking pops the shrine. And that means Moose will have to probably get back. If he can, actually, is he being locked down by that bit of mouse? Another shrine used right there. They're using it all, but the top racks wall this whole time. The Spirit Fairs are sitting on top of it, counting it down. They do pick off the Witch Doctor in the background, but you see Timber saw he is still looking pretty good to go. Shadow Fiend staying dead through all this, despite having that buyback and move. So just walk it off, throws the Eel Scepter out, and now he fully is oh. going to retreat right here. Middle lane. We've uh, forced to use his ult. And on top of that, obviously, Lone Druid, is, as we saw in that last fight, I mean, he basically took out that top set of racks right there. While Moo is distracting the whole team, and they also catch Ogre Magi now. Yet again, the shock rim out. He, he's not getting away from that. Yeah, is that going to blood sun charge for an illusion kind of hero um, to sort of pair with the, the SF? I guess Weaver is okay, but I guess with this butterfly pickup, obviously the, the plus 35 agility is very nice to, to be used for the, for the SD and uh, with the disruption. So there's something to talk about as well. But talking of SD, nearly dies actually. What lane does go down? Yeah. But Spirit Fair, exactly. He's just seizing the base while that distraction happens. Melons is gonna fall. That was a very uh, ambitious uh, use of the death ward right there. He ends up dying shortly after, but might as well give it a try, I guess. But now you have Chamber Cell. That Shiva's. Actually. Would that do anything? What was he trying to do? Would <laughs> the Yules actually do anything? No. I think it, it, it. Oh, here we go. This is it. So you're really low again. Uh, sorry, 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 there we go. That keeps going in now. <laughs> SSD is dead. Um, I, think, uh, I think that the Dark Rift on, on Underlord works similar to sort of Conker's uh, X marks. Um, but here we go, the Ogre might be. Oh, they do follow in. The yeah, Ogre, he's dead right here. And he does. No, okay, he doesn't have a buyback. He's it immediately, actually. Shadow Demon staying dead now. They do have a shrine to use, so actually using it right there. Never mind, they do not anymore. BKB is on cooldown now for Shadow Fiend, so a chance for Complexity to really go cutthroat here. Pushing into the bottom base, Chris the Spirit Fair leading the way, and it's just so difficult to kill and deal with. Siege in that melee rack very effectively. Timbers on the back on the Shockroom comes out. Underlord forced to fall back, barely alive himself. And that's also good for the rain tracks on top, so Complexity really pushing into the base of Duwop now, and it just doesn't feel like they can do much about it once again. Ogre will get picked off. This time he's not buying back. That Tinker lasers him down. The Maledict currently on Shadow Fiend. Chase back cancel, but again, Moo jumps back in, and now Shadow Demon having to deal with them as a death ward from a distance. Just killing some, uh, some illusions, it seems like. Shadow Demon now picked off, and again, he doesn't have a buyback. Weaver locked down, Weaver's dead, and he with no buyback. GG, well played. Now will officially do it in favor of Complexity, so... They're going to take game two and at least split the series here. Definitely, and up. I think there's, there's, I mean, there's only one hero or one player that stands out for me really in move. Just played so fantastic on that Timber Saw. Like, had such a 